There we go. All right. Today, I want you to consider the blog. Now, 15 years ago, there weren't any blogs on the internet. It was a new concept. And today, at latest count, there are about 152 million, give or take many. <laughs> and these come in all different forms, of course. You have blogs about politics, or food, or fiction, or cats wearing sliced bread on their heads. But the kind of blog I want to talk to you about today is the Middle Eastern political affairs blog. And as far as I can tell, currently they come in about three forms. First, you have ones that are part of established news outlets. For example, Foreign Policy's Middle East Channel. Additionally, you have ones that are part of research institutions, such as the Center for New American Security or the Project on Middle East Democracy. And finally, you have the personal blogs written by freelance journalists or activists or just anyone with an opinion. And what I want to propose today is a fourth kind of blog, one that combines the comprehensiveness of a news outlet with the authority of a research institution and the individuality of these individual blogs. And so what I'm proposing is a blog written by a team, an international team, of American and Middle Eastern interested political bloggers working together on structured conversations alongside a framework which allows the public to participate. It's called the Axis Mundi, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about how I'm reimagining the traditional form of a blog to create this sort of collective roundtable. I want to start off by addressing the problem of the traditional format of a blog, and that is it's very much a one-way flow of information. You have the blogger who writes his post at the top, and maybe there are some comments at the bottom, but they're often ignored and skewed over. Um, and it's sort of like a soapbox, and that's what I imagine an internet soapbox might look like. And this is a problem. We need to sort of make it a more dialogue-inspired format. And especially what I want to do is bring together these writers from the US and the Middle East working together on dialogue. And I take my inspiration here from the Economist's debate section. I don't know if you've been there before. It's fabulous. What they do is they have a motion, which the moderator proposes, and they invite two experts on the field to debate it. You, you generally have a pro side and a con side. And what they do over the course of one or two weeks is they have their opening statements, their rebuttals, and their closing statements. And it's a very, it, the discussion evolves. It moves from one topic to another, and it really engages the subtleties of many different points. And what I want to do is create something very similar in which there is half of the blog devoted to a topic which the writers individually, uh, individually um, engage and write posts on, and every other post is a response thereto. And this could go on for a week or two or however long is necessary, depending on how interesting it is. Now, the second problem I want to talk to about is how to engage the public in your conversations. Now, this often takes the form of internet comments. Um, however, as I mentioned before, comments are frequently only included at the bottom of a post and are often afterthoughts. Um, the writers don't pay attention to them. Very often, the readers don't pay attention to them, and they're not part of the conversation. And I want to further draw on the economist's model here by bringing them equal to our own writer's comments, putting them on the same half of the screen, bringing them both up, and giving them equal width on the main screen. In addition, The Economist has this feature called Featured Guest, in which a guest comes and brings additional context into the conversation that may have been passed over by the experts. And on, the, on my blog, it looks very much like this, or it will look very much like this. Um, I believe it's important that you value your public's comments equally to your own writers, because after all, you can never include every voice in your conversation. You're always going to have opinions that you're going to skip over, and it's important to give these equal consideration. I believe there are some ways that this could even be extended in the future, and I want to turn here to ProPublica, which is a nonprofit news organization, 
it recently rolled out this feature called Explore Sources in some of its news articles. And what you can do is click on a sentence and immediately see exactly what the reporter's source was for the story. I believe this can be extended to online comments by allowing people to choose specific sections or sentences or even words to add comments to and make them much more context rich. Finally, I want to turn to how we build a community of writers and of commenters and of readers that's interesting and engaging and can actually add content to the process. And one major problem that this, in, that this encounters is, of course, how do you deal with comments that don't add to the conversation? And here I take my inspiration from ta Coates, who is a blogger on the Atlantic Monthly, and who has what many people have called the best and most interesting comments section on the internet. And he does this through very strict moderation. He has a strict code in which he demands that everyone add to the conversation. Both all opinions are respected, but you can't, for example, call names or say something that's off topic. And I want to implement this as well. And in fact, this is very important. Because as anyone who's been to YouTube before can attest, there are a lot of people who have dumb things to say out there. So I believe this can be enforced through, for example, a code of commenting conduct, which we have written, and which makes moderation consistent and transparent. Finally, to alleviate uh, some additional free speech concerns, I believe it's important that moderation works as a team and no one person can unilaterally choose to censor a comment. I want to, I want to do this by involving all writers on the team in comment moderation and perhaps requiring more than one person to agree to remove a comment. Finally, I want to close by saying that I need your help because after all, even once this structure has been created, it still needs users and writers to give it meaning. So if you have an opinion, if you would be interested in writing for this, or if you know somebody who might, get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. In addition, if you're interested in helping to build this new sort of blog paradigm, which is more open to public discussion, we'd also love to hear from you. And finally, even if you just have something to say or want to read something, We'd love to see you at our website at accessmundimedia.wordpress.com. We'll have a top-level domain one day, I promise. Um, but for now, I need your help in turning the soapbox into a roundtable. Thank you.